What's up, you're about another extra drop to a brand new episode of Grey's Anatomy. This is episode number 14, season number two, called Tell Me Sweet Little Lies. Uh, hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want. If you don't, totally cool episodes will be here whenever they show up. Previous episode uh, was the one where Derek continues to be Derek. Um, George had the thing with a girl who was a boy or could have been a boy, the whole choice thing. Um, Izzy met this guy who was flirting with her, which I'm assuming is going to come back. Um, what else happened? Christina couldn't take a break because she was, uh, she was, um, like she could have taken, she, she was, she didn't know what to do with herself if she wasn't working. Um, so I think that's all the major stuff. So we're gonna hop in here, have a good time. You know what I say? Stop asking me questions. Cujo has to go. He peed on my bed. My bed, <laughs> Meredith. He's Cujo on has he's to go. You two <laughs> without even asking me. We rescued. Cujo you. has I'm to go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I'm putting my foot down. Put your foot Either down. the dog moves out or I do. Foot. Ten minutes out. They continue with IV fluids and start a course of antibiotics. Yay. Wait outside for the fingers. You can sew them back on, right? Because they still. Is the dog gonna, gonna eat the fingers? Point. Right. Penises and fingers like apples and oranges. Please no. I was loading my gear onto the truck for a gig and they got caught in the lift gate. You a musician? I play the freaking guitar. You can sew them back on, right? Why is she still here? Because I am not a bouncer and this is not a nightclub. I am doing what I can with extremely limited staff and resources. And if you have oh, a problem shit. with that, take it up with a chief. Oh, damn. Well, this is what you get because you doubled their work. Then he doubled their work? Mrs. Larson's got to go. But if she refuses to leave, what can I do? She's 78 and non-ambulatory. You have the upper hand here. Use it. Griff, can I talk to you for a second? Everybody's a liar. Dr. Gray, is that a dog? No. How is this shit allowed in here? Get that shit out. We need to keep this elevated, okay? Okay. I'm gonna check in on you a little bit. We're gonna do this or what? Yeah, we're we're yeah. really gonna compete? Don't start without me. Really? We're not gonna start if Izzy doesn't focus. Hey, come on. What should I put on the flyer? Uh, Destructive, uh, aggressive, held off. Yes. Can you fix it? Yes, surgically, and the sooner the better. Oh, after the competition today, uh, her schedule is clear until March. She, she has a tear in her stomach. Now. She can't compete today. And if she enjoys the taste of solid food, I recommend giving up the sport. So how do we proceed? Schedule Mrs. Klein for a surgery. Okay. Do you wanna come over for dinner? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? What? Dinner. Our place. Mine and Christina. Our Why? place. You're Christina's best friend. I want our... her to feel welcome to have our friends in our home. Oh, so she moved in with you? Yes. Didn't she tell you? Of course she told me. This Why is so fucking me? awkward. She's in, right? He believes. Which, you know, I think is. Quite... I mean, I would kind of believe it too. She brung stuff and is there every day. <laughs> this came from Mr. Freerick's room. He's convinced he won't be able to quit smoking. He says you agree. Well, he asked my opinion. You want me to apologize? No, I wouldn't. Yo, you I'm know. all about this, but you gotta be. He's hey, technically the your here. boss's Chris boss. She left with her friend about 20 minutes ago. She wasn't discharged. Sorry, we're short staffed. I assume chocolatey eyes. In order to test you, Mrs. Larson, we have to do a spinal tap. Oh, Will God. Will be doing it? Oh, damn, girl, ma'am. Keep matter. it in your pants, lady. <laughs> well, then. Call me Sophie. Oh, nice meeting you, Irene. Freaking coach should be the one on this gurney. Let's keep our eyes on the prize, Karev. Did he Save tell her? Do we know if he told her? Oh, no, 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 Karev. Hey, no, 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 no. What are you going to do? No, no. Round? Yeah. So you're going to kick his ass, get yourself kicked out of the program before you have to open your board scores, just in case you failed. 
Anyway. Aw. Thank you. Look at Burke. Burke is the best. He's so sweet. He comes off like a hard ass, but he's so, he's so sweet. Ugh. Do you have any sensation in your left arm at all? No. What's up? Let's get back to it. Go back what? on that retractor. What is that? Give me more suction. I'll need a sponge on a stick. More suction. What's going on? I tried, but you wouldn't listen. It is now 6.07, the second shift. Going on strike. Six, they're not coming in. Do you have any idea what a sick out would do to this hospital? I've already put in the call for temps. Well, what's this? Official notification. We go on strike and... I never would have... I thought she would be fine. I'm sorry. Don't we tell told you she out. has a tear. Tell her how her career is over. We told you that there was a lining and she pretty much tore it. Like, what the fuck? You already think I'm an idiot. Won't be any great shock. Aw. Feel a little bad for him. I mean, I feel a lot bad for him, but he is kind of douchey most of the time, so. He obviously passed. I mean, there's no way. That'd be a weird story arc to give him. Congratulations. You are not an idiot. Except when you're being an idiot. It's all fine if you did it up. Give it up. Does this environment make you feel at home? I really thought they were going to do something with the dog. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I know it's oh, Country Hill, but. <laughs> to the end of the day. Good. I was being nice to her. Okay. I can be nice without being. McDreamy, I know. But you're not. You're being McDreamy, though. No, you're okay. flirting. No, okay, you're then. you're flirt. No. Oh, my God. He's so dumb. He's so dumb. He knows he's flirting. That's what's annoying. He's not just being nice. He's flirting. It's from all of us. Um, or deny it. Eventually, the lies fall away. Why do I feel like Derek's gonna get the dog? Which is gonna be another thing that Addison hates. So am I. Whether we like it or not. <sighs> hey, buddy. It was a hey. fucking joke. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What's he gonna say? You can come visit him anytime. Like a fucking jackass. Thanks for doing this. Uh, I know. So he. Uh, she's she's putting up with way too much. So don't leave anything out. He hates cats. And small little yappy dog. Like she's letting you talk with the girl that you like. Oh, oh she's putting up a way too much, yo. No, oh. probably should have told you that. Way too much. <sighs> I'm so, I'm so but confused. But I don't understand the about the truth. It hurts. So we lie. I I got so much I want to say. I got to I got to get I got to get the other stuff out of the way first. Let's get the other stuff out of the way because I got too much to stuff about say about them. Um, all right. So number one, uh, Bailey. I'm guessing it's gonna be off for a couple episodes, um, because of the baby. Um, I love that she worked until like she couldn't <laughs> because of who she is. Um, uh, Alex passed this thing. Um, the old lady in Georgia story was pretty fun uh the nurses strike is kind of wild so essentially the hospital doesn't have any money like for their budget to hire people and they can't overwork the interns and the surgeons and all of that right 
So why did why did Richard what's his name right Richard why did he yell at them? Why did they get yelled at? Like I'm confused. What did Burke and and um and Derek do? Like why were they the ones that like he called them sport or whatever like like it's so <laughs> what did they do? Um, like so essentially the hospital is like struggling. The hospital's struggling. There's not enough money coming in to hire enough people to run the hospital, which is weird because it's a teaching hospital, which means it's connected to universities for like, the, like a, if it's a teaching hospital, wouldn't they get money or no? Doesn't know how that works. Like where I live, there is the hospital and the university are like the biggest thing. Um, they're like the they're like it's everywhere. So like it's a very profitable thing where I live. Um, so I'm very con. I'm, I don't know like how how are we losing so much money? Um, like I guess and, and I get like and I I get like it's not his fault, right? He doesn't determine or does he actually does he determine where the budget? I mean he does determine where the budget goes, right? So was is it is it gonna like be more that he's been buying like equipment and shit like that for the hospital instead of people? Like instead of hiring people, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Either way. Um the Christina stuff, I don't think the Christina stuff was answered. Like with the like she didn't tell Burke, right? I don't like did she did I did she say it and I missed it? I don't think she did, right? Like she didn't tell him anything, all right? She's with, yeah, I don't think she told him anything. But she's still keeping that secret. Um, Izzy's being way too cool with Alex, which is whatever. I mean, she's cool, so she's accepting the whole Alex being a jackass thing, but um, still being nice to him. Um, the George keeping his ground thing was kind of... I love that story with the old lady, but I don't like where it ended for George. Because I feel like George is going to take that as like, oh, keep fighting for Meredith. And I hate that. Like legitimately. So is that everything? Let me sure I got everything before I move on. The competitive eater storyline was solid. The lady that was super happy. We didn't follow up with that woman to see how she was after the thing. So I'm guessing it wasn't going to be that drastic of a switch for her. Um, all right. I think that's everything. So I'm going to get into the Derek stuff. So my problem, one of my problems is, are we supposed to like Derek? Like generally, I'm trying to think of it as like a person that's like making the show. Are we supposed to like Derek? Like, I don't think we are. It's hard for me to look at the show and like legitimately be like, oh, the writers want us to like Derek. I don't see that. I don't understand how you, as a writer, see that. Like, how do you see that? As a writer of a show, showrunner, whatever, you're writing this show. You choose to write Derek this way. I don't know. Maybe, like, if it was targeted to, maybe it's because, okay, maybe the show was more, maybe if the show was targeted towards really young people, like, teenagers and early 20 year olds like 20 21 year olds who are very different mindsets because like i don't know like derek is not a bad person when it comes to his job he's a great person when it comes to job great human being right when it comes to his job he's great awesome what i don't understand is he's doing things that legitimately hurt the female characters. Like what he does and how Meredith and Addison respond to it, make them seem weak as shit. Like they, they write, they make them feel like weak female characters. If that makes sense, like they're caving for Derek. Like, hardcore caving for him. 
he gets away with fucking everything in terms of how he treats them. Like, you mean to tell me Derek went to his current wife and said, hey, my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, needs some place for her dog. So her dog is coming here. And Addison comes outside, happily takes the dog in, knowing what he told her about Meredith and how he feels. And then she goes inside while Meredith and Derek are outside just talking, right? And then Meredith, after Christina gave him this whole fucking thing, oh, I can be friends and not flirt, whatever the fuck. But he doesn't do it. He he keeps flirting. Like if you like if you're legit, just like you gotta like treat Meredith the way you treat Alex, <laughs> the way you treat George. That's fine. Like treat like do that. He flirts so much, and it it's weird because for me it's backfiring. And it's making me root for Addison, which I feel like on paper, we should not be rooting for Addison. Wait, Addison? Allison? What's her name? Is it Ada or Alla? I looked at that wrong. Like, we should not be rooting for her, really, because, like, she cheated on him. But the way the show's writing, I guess the show's trying to write it more realistic. But, like, Addison is a strong woman. It's just weird that he tells you what he's, that, he, that he's in love with some other woman. You accept it because you're going to put up with it. But then you, you give him one thing. You can't be alone with her. And he just continues to defy it. And not even just defy that. He does extra shit that, like, isn't needed. Like you, you go beyond the flirting. You go the, you go out of your way to like do things that are just fucked up. I don't know. I, it's just weird, right? I think the, I think if the show directed the, show, if the, if the showrunner directed the episode better, it would work because they would show Derek as a flawed individual. But the show doesn't show it like that. The show shoot the, they shoot the show in a way that we're supposed to be on Derek's side, which is fucking weird to me. They shoot it in a way where we're supposed to like be on his side in all of this, and I'm like, no. Christina showed us that that's wrong, but then the thing at the end, he continues to do it, but they play like happy music. Oh, probably. Like they're they're playing a love like a happy love song while he's doing the exact same shit that Christina said not to do. Like that what you're doing and he said he could do. All you have to do in this is play a different song. Like have a different song in the background, more of a more of a like a menacing song, like a oh no song. Instead, you play this. Yeah. Like, it's just a weird, it's a weird, it's like the show doesn't know what it wants to do with Derek or it wants to like show Derek in a certain way and it doesn't work for me because you aren't the good guy. <laughs> You're the fucked up guy. Christina told you that. Like you ruined her friend. And then the show has the audacity that at the end, love song. And Meredith's like, oh, McDreamy. I'm like, what? You should be angry that you feel this way. But she's just, like, she should be angry. Like, there's a way to shoot this, and it makes, and I think it would be better. Like, you, you make her angry that she feels the way. You make her sad that she feels this way. Instead, she's like, nonchalant about it and like laughing about it and flirting about it 
she should be angry that she feels this way and sad and all of that. And they don't really, and Derek, I don't know, man. It's so weird. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think I, I'm not the target demographic for this, obviously, I think, but I feel like it's, it's nominated. So I don't know. Maybe it's not, it must, it must get nominated way later. Maybe. Cause like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, there's no shot in hell. Burke is not an all-around better character than her, than Derek. All-around better character. All around. Romance and work, professionalism. Like, that moment he had with with um, Meredith was so, like, it was so good. When was that? Uh, when was that? Like, Meredith did something that he should have gotten really mad about. But the way that, like, he handled this, I don't know. And like later when he when is it when he forges she forges it and then we do the he thanks Meredith he thanks Meredith for speaking to, like I don't know I like don't understand <laughs> like, it's so weird I don't know it is what it is I know that I'm gonna piss people off because I am and I know people are gonna probably take my call me calling Meredith and Addison weak as a big ass thing and that's fine but I'm gonna stick by that. They are strong characters, except when it comes to Derek, which I guess is real. But it's just weird that it's him. It's just weird that he's the guy you guys are weak for. It's just fucking weird. I mean, I guess, I don't know. Maybe he's attractive as shit, I guess. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, all right. I'm going to get out of here. Talk to you guys later.